Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is going to be a really really short tutorial where I will be showing you how you can move objects in different direction and also rotate them without having to use the timeline. But it is still recommended that you should use the timeline because the timeline gives you more control over your objects and it gives you more curves and make it smooth animations rather than using this component but if you don't want to use the timeline I'll show you how you can make a quick animations by using just these components sorry these nodes so without further ado guys let's just actually begin so the first thing you need to do is go into your content browser right click and select blueprint class just like in the previous tutorial and select actor we're going to rename this cube uh, cube without timeline and we're going to double click on it when it opens it's going to go to add component we're going to select the cube and we're going to say compile and save after that what we need to do is go into the event graph we're going to delete the event act to begin overlap and event tick what we're going to do is begin event begin overlap we're going to say move to component we're going to select that then after that we're going to drag the cube and then we're going to put that into the component drag that in and make it a little bit more nicer then what you need to do is control c and control v copy and paste and then you need to put the complete one into the move and now let's see save compile and save and let's see if we want to move our object in from in the z-axis from 150 and going in the z-axis as well going to 600 what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit compile and save i'm going to minimize this I'm going to go back into my content browser and I'm going to drag this into the vault over here and we're going to simulate. I'm going to press the play button. Well, it's not going to start the game because uh, if you go in here, you can see it says simulate. So it will simulate and let us know what results we achieved. So as you can see, it's going too fast because the time is really, really fast on them so what you can do is you can actually slow down the time so rather than from 0.2 seconds you can just say five seconds on the both sides and let's see hit save and compile compile and save and press play again as you can see it is going really really slow it just pick up a pace a little but it's not going to come down because we need to loop it. I see many people using the loop nodes or they adding the loop function to make a loop. But I'll also show you how you can make a loop without having to use any of this or set timer by function name. So what you can do is if you want to make a loop is drag the completed and then just drag it and move it back into move. This is all there is guys. You don't need to add the loop or anything. And what you can then do is make it more nicer. I think I will select the wrong one, I guess. Let me say, yeah. But what you can do is just make it more nicer. You can just, uh, if I can grab it, yeah, you can just drag that over there and drag that over there if I can on. There you go. So you can make it a bit look more nicer. So what you then you can do is you can then press ease in and ease out in both of them. And now hit compile, save and play. And you can zoom in to see the results. So as you can see, it is animating as we put the values it's going in from 150 to 600 in the z axis okay let's make it more interesting 
and let's say we want to rotate like you see the other cube which has the material to it let's say we want to rotate that one from the y-axis coming from 150 and same into the y-axis going to uh, 600 and then what we're going to do is just same thing compile and save okay as you can see it's rotating and you can make some really really interesting shapes and things happening in your game environment if you want you can also make like um you can add a particle effects to make really different kind of environment like if you are doing a um, game based on magic spells or something you can make things happen and look more interesting guys so i hope you guys will like this small tutorial if you do please leave a like don't forget to comment and don't forget to also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and i'll see you guys in the next one till then guys take care and bye for now